Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today is my stop for the M is for Melanin book tour. I was so excited about this tour, book tour especially, because this is a children's book. I have read it to um, both of my kids and they absolutely loved it. I felt like for this book, um, coming out during this time is excellent it's magnificent um it's just great timing i love this book i love what it represents especially um letting children be aware that black is beautiful you are beautiful your hair is beautiful everything about you your being is beautiful um and so i just love this and it's also by um excuse me, it's also by Tiffany Rose. She wrote this book and she's an amazing. Tiffany Rose, um, which I wanted to pretty much tell tell you about her. Tiffany Rose is a left-handed illustrator and author. She's currently living and working in Paris, France. She's a lover of coffee, massive curly afros, world travel, and little brown children being their quirky free selves. She's a full-time teacher, creator, and world traveler. So that's amazing. And then the, what inspired her to write this book? It says, Rose, Rose saw a need for children of color to be represented in children's literature and illustration. She remember what it, remembers what it was like as a brown child not seeing herself represented in the books and characters she loved so dearly. Rose recently illustrated a 12-month calendar titled In My Melanin, which features the joy and beauty of Black children. Her Imagerium 2019 calendar will be out... Uh, will be out December 2018, which is, that's past. And Rose creates art so that the 14.2% of underrepresented children can see themselves reflected. Pencil in hand, she's changing that percentage one illustration at a time. Rose's uh, debut picture book of M is for Melanin will be published, which it will be coming out October the 1st, um, which I'm like, super excited for. I was able to get the e-arc for it. And I think I might actually read you the book itself because I think it's, wonderful my like I said my kids enjoyed it I wish I could have showed you their faces when I read it to them um but let me go ahead and read this for you so this could be like a little read along especially I'll be pretty much giving you my review of the book which I pretty much already did but this book is amazing um and also my own reflections about it so M is for melanin M is is for melanin by Tiffany Rose A is for afro your hair makes a statement embrace the bigness of your hair Pick it, fluff it, love it. B is for very black. B is, be it unapologetically, be bold, be fearless, be you. C is for creative, paint the canvas of life with the colors of the rainbow. Sprinkle your black girl magic and black boy joy on the world. D is for dream. From Martin to Michelle and everyone in between, you little black child are your ancestors' wildest dreams. E is for empowerment. If the path you want doesn't exist, create it. Dare to be different, persist. People will say you can't until you do. F is for fresh. Our people make something out of nothing and make it look good. You are no exception. G is for genuine. There is nothing more honest than your authentic self. Be you, love you, always, always. H is for hip hop. Hip is knowledge of your culture. Hop is expression of movement. Dance to the music within you. I is for imagine. Imagine yourself as the next black president. No longer a dream, but a reality to be fulfilled. J is for joy and finding it wherever you look. Imagine, create, inspire. The world awaits. K is for king. Lift your head high and adjust your crown. Acknowledge your majesty, your majesty and act accordingly. L is for lead. Lead with intention and purpose. You were never meant to follow. M is for melanin, shining in every inch of your skin, every shade, every hue, all beautiful and unique. N is for natural, from your roots to your fingertips, the additives, the necessary, amazing, just as you are. O is for Obama, our first black president. He did so that you can. P is for pride. Rejoice in who you are and where you come from. Be present, stand tall, stand proud. Q is for queen. Majestic is your name and sun-kissed is your skin. Royalty flows through your veins. R is for remembrance. Remember those before you. They will guide you on your journey. S is for soul. Never diminish your, sh your shine so that others shine brighter. Be such a vibrant soul that others crave your light. T is for travel. 
A passport is a powerful thing. To know the world is to better understand yourself. You is for unleash. Unleash your potential. Unlock your magic. Put in the work and see what happens. V is for voice. No matter how small, you deserve to be heard. Speak out for what is right. Speak up when others are silent. W is for worthy. The gifts you'll give to the world are already within you. Your worth is not determined by what you have, but by who you are. X is for Malcolm, activist, leader, revolutionary, just like Malcolm. You alone can define you. U is for you. You, and it has a little slide right there. So for my kids, I said, you, Kiana, you, Keandre are absolutely enough. Z is for zillion. There will be a zillion people telling you to do something else or be someone else. Always be your free, talented, quirky, imaginative, melanated self. The world will adjust. And then it has the author's notes. It says, growing up, I never saw books with characters who looked like me, like let alone unap unapologetic blackness. I can't imagine a world in which my children will grow up not seeing a clear mirror, mirror of who they are. For so long, black children have been underestimated in children's lit literature. It's not just important for black children, but for all children to see a shift in proclaiming the worthiness of all shades to be celebrated. I created this book for all the children who ever doubted themselves or were made to feel their blackness wasn't enough. No matter your hue or shade, this is for you. And like I said, I, this is a five star out of five stars for me. I would give it zillion stars because this is a, a great representation of showing that our that black is beautiful and that for my children to realize that they are enough. Don't let anyone tell them different. They are beautiful. They are creative. They're imaginative. They're everything and they are enough. They do not have to be, you know, they don't have to have people thinking that, oh, you have to do more in order to be this. You are just enough and you can do whatever you put your mind to, which is what I always tell my children. And that's why I love this book. This book is very empowering. It shows empowerment. It shows, like I said, melanated people are, they're beautiful. Oh, skin tones are beautiful. But like I said, I love this book so so much I cried reading this to my children because I didn't I didn't really have a lot of books like this like this particularly written like this when I was growing up and I'm glad that Tiffany Rose wrote this book like I said this comes out October 1st and you definitely should pick one up um, to read it if you're a teacher educator anything like that or if you're a mother or a parent whatever you should definitely pick this up or if you are a mentor or anything for that's really related to children or anything like that or even just adults should read this book because it is amazing like I said I give this a zillion of stars um, because it is absolutely amazing and I love what it represents and what it says Tiffany Rose you've done it and you did it and I hope you continue doing this representing um, black people and black children um, but that is my review that is my own reflections I hope you enjoyed this video of mine and my read-along that I did for you if you did just please give me a thumbs up um, but anyways thank you so much for watching this video like I said it comes out October 1st M is for melanin don't um, definitely pick one copy up for yourself and for any other person that has a child and I feel like just representing them and showing them that they are beautiful and enough is awesome but thank you so much you guys see ya